Hi, this is Tracy HD, and I want to thank you for joining me today for our January 2018 tarot reading. This will be for the sign of Gemini. As I shuffle the deck, I'm asking all light beings, angels, and God, please relay the message you need to share with my viewers for the highest good of all. Beginning of the month, we'll take a card from the top. Middle of the month, we're going to take a card from the center. And the end of the month, we're going to take a card from the bottom. Wow. <laughs> very, very interesting month for you, Gemini. And I'm a Gemini as well, so I find these cards amazing. Um, we have the Emperor, okay? You need to seek out some type of balance maybe in the beginning of the month, okay? Got to balance things out. And sometimes it's hard for us Geminis because we're in all different directions going and, and doing all different kinds of projects, all different kinds of activities, but we're going to need to balance things out in the beginning of the month. Otherwise, we're going to get very depleted, okay? You're going to maybe need to make some type of a decision, too, and you're going to have to be calm uh, during this decision that you make. You don't want to let your emotions overrule you. Um, this here might even uh, signify your boss. If, if you're employed and you're working, this may be your boss that you're going to have to deal with in the beginning of the month. But it's going to be a very, very important beginning of the month that you do not allow your emotions to influence you. That is the feeling I get the most from spirit from these cards, that there's going to be something that you may need to make a major decision on. You do not want to allow your emotions to rule when you're making this decision. You want to be calm, cool, and collected, and you want to make a decision based on facts, not what you hear. It might be something you need to investigate and look into further, okay? But you want to make sure, okay, that the decision you make is based on facts and not emotions. Because in the middle of the month, things are going to still be a little fuzzy here. We have the moon card, and the moon is telling you that maybe something in the middle of the month is going to occur that is just not what it seems. You're not getting the whole picture. There's something that maybe is being hidden. Uh, maybe someone is keeping something from you, okay, maybe purposely deceiving you, uh, but there's more than meets the eye to some situation. Maybe it has something to do with this decision you're making where you need to be level-headed, okay, but right here in the middle of the month, maybe you're still not making your decision yet, okay, what you want to do is you want to go with your gut feelings, okay, and you want to trust your intuition, so what you want to do is you may want to get some quiet time in the middle of the month, okay? Go within. You're feeling uncertain about something and you're absolutely spot on. Always trust your gut feelings. Someone may be trying to deceive you and pull something over on you, but you know better, Gemini. You, you need to heed warning of whatever it is that your gut feels, even if you can't explain why you feel a certain way. If something doesn't feel right and you don't trust somebody, Trust that your gut feelings are spot on. That's our internal warning system that saves us from harm. So do not discount your gut feelings in the middle of the month. And don't be hasty, okay, to make this decision because it seems like this decision is going to still linger on into the middle of the month. You need to take your time before you decide on something. And whatever it is that you're deciding on, well, we have the death card at the end of the month. And the death card is not a physical death. This is the ending of something, the ending of a chapter in your life, okay? Uh, something that, you know, has to end before you could begin another chapter in your life. So this is some type of closure, okay? Maybe you're deciding to let someone or something go. And you finally decide that, yes, it's time for it to go. Whatever it is, is no longer serving your highest good, okay? This is something that you need to remove and release in order to make room, okay, for something new to take its place. Because when we cling to the past and we cling to things that are past their shelf life, it only impedes our progress, and we want to move forward. So there's a phase in your life that's going to be ending at the end of January, but it's going to be a good thing. Whatever is going to be leaving is making room for something bigger and better for you this year. If you've enjoyed this reading, please subscribe to my channel because I will be back.